try to breathe in a way that bring the, that brings the body and the mind into harmony. So the mind wants to stay here, and the body doesn't feel oppressed by the mind's attention in the present moment. If you focus too strongly, there's a, it's going to be a disturbance in whatever part of the body you're focused on. Or if you're blocking out part of the body, that's going to get disturbed too. You need to breathe in ways that are not good for the body. The mind's not going to want to stay. So find a way of breathing, find a way of settling into the present moment. We've got the body and the mind in harmony. This principle of harmony is an important one, both inside and outside. We live here as a group. Now, if we spend all our time placing blame on this person or that person who's right, who's wrong, the group's going to be destroyed. Before you say anything or do anything or think anything, ask yourself, is this going to be for the harmony of the group or not? And if it's not going to be for harmony, ask yourself, is there some other way of doing this or some way of bringing up the topic if it needs to be brought up that will be more harmonious? There's no tally as to who's right and who's wrong. We've gone through some sorrow who knows how many, many times. And who knows when the stories begin or when the stories are going to end. But the tally of who's right and who's wrong is meaningless. The question is how wise you are in maintaining what's basically a good situation here. We've got people who are all practicing. We want to make sure that our words and our th thoughts and our deeds help one another in the practice. Now we get to preserve something good. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. As I say, the, the, the better is often the enemy of the good. So you've got something good, maintain it. I mean, this is a basic principle in the meditation. When you start breathing, you hear stories of uh, how there are going to be feelings of bliss and rapture. And you say, where's the bliss, where's the rapture? And it doesn't seem to be all that blissful or rapturous. Just a sense of breathing that's okay. Well, maintain okay. Don't throw it away. And if it gets maintained, then it gets to grow. So learn to appreciate the good that you've got inside you and the good you've got around you. And don't go trashing it for some idea that you think might be better. It's in the maintaining the things that are good that they get to grow. And provide a good environment for you to practice and a good environment for the people around you to practice. Because it's not that we're here just for ourselves. You know, for, here at my quote from John Swan says, each of us has only one person, but that one person to be wise and looking after him or herself. That's to think about the people around, around you as well. As John Lee used to say, make your eyes as big as the monastery. Well, those are wherever there can be things, little things that you can help. Even if you're not told to do it, go ahead and do the help. As for things that would be harmful, well, Remember, your actions do have an impact on the whole group. So keep your eyes, keep your mind as big as the monastery. Because that's the container in which we all get to practice. 